railroad crossing right-of-way laws, yield to survive. It goes without saying that drivers must proceed with the utmost caution when traveling at railroad crossings or close to railroad lines. When right-of-way regulations are not followed around train crossings, terrible crashes and fatalities can occur. Authorities reported a total of 2,291 occurrences involving a train and one or more motor vehicles in 2014 alone. These incidents led to 854 injuries and 267 fatalities. There are no exceptions to the rule that trains always have the right of way over motor vehicles at railroad crossings. If you are a driver, you must give the right of way or you could lose your life as a result of the infraction. Always move over for trains. Trains always have the right of way over motor vehicles. It is also a legal obligation, in addition to the obvious safety reasons. More significantly, because most trains can't physically yield, drivers must yield to them at railroad crossings. When the train driver engages the emergency brakes, a freight train weighing 6,000 tons and moving at 60 miles per hour can take about a mile to come to a complete stop. A train driver will not be able to see a vehicle on a railroad crossing from one mile away, or anywhere close to that distance. This raises the possibility of a collision significantly should a driver attempt to give right of way to a coming train. Getting ready to cross a railroad bridge. The majority of railroad crossings are outfitted with a variety of tools to alert drivers that they must be ready to yield. On the road, you'll probably see warning signs as you get close to a crossing. When you notice these cautionary indicators, move cautiously and keep an eye out for them. Additionally, there might be pavement markers before the crossing and a crossbox sign where the railway tracks and the road converge. Red flashing lights, bells, and safety gates are frequently used at railroad crossings to alert drivers when a train is about to pass through. When the safety gate is down or there are flashing red lights or warning bells, you must stop before the crossing. When lowered, safety gates frequently do not span the whole roadway to avoid trapping vehicles at the crossing. Even if there is room for your car to get through lowered safety gates, never do so. Unfortunately, the majority of railroad grade crossings in the nation lack safety barriers, bells, or warning lights. You must use your own judgment when approaching such a crossing to decide whether you need to yield. When unsure, give way. Driving slowly up to the crossing, scan the tracks that pass through the intersection for trains traveling in both directions. Trains must legally blow a whistle 1,500 feet before they cross a crossing, so roll down your windows and keep an eye out for them. You must surrender if you see or hear a train. Trains are frequently nearer and moving faster than they seem. Where to make way when crossing a train? The locations where drivers are required to yield at a railroad crossing are governed by different right-of-way rules across the country. To ensure you are using correct information, check your most of the time, automobiles must come to a complete stop within 15 feet and 50 feet of the nearest rail of the tracks in any of the following circumstances. 1. A train is approaching when a bell, a red light that flashes, or a gate is lowered. 2. From any distance, you can see a train coming. 3. There is a train whistle or any other oral alert. 4. A flagger or traffic control officer signals that you must halt. Wait to cross the crossing until you are confident it is safe to do so. When the gates are down or any warning device is still in operation, do not proceed forward. Remember that if there are numerous tracks, multiple trains may quickly pass over the crossing. Special restrictions for vehicle right of way. Regardless of whether it appears like a train is approaching or not, some types of vehicles are required to come to a complete stop before crossing a railroad crossing by law. Buses, school buses, and any other vehicles hazardous materials are examples of these special vehicles. Be ready to stop when one of these cars is in front of you as you approach a railroad crossing. Railroad crossings, whether passing or stationary. On train tracks, you should never stop your car. When you want to move forward again, you can get trapped. Before attempting to cross, Drivers should wait until there is adequate space for their car on the opposite side of the tracks, then drive across in one fluent move. When driving close to railroad tracks, passing other vehicles is severely forbidden. Keep in mind that some vehicles are required by law to stop before crossing railroad tracks. 
never try to pass a car that has stopped at a railroad crossing while driving. What happens if you are unable to give way? If your car becomes trapped or obstructed on the tracks, you might not be able to yield to an oncoming train. Get out of your automobile and seek help if it stalls and you are unable to restart it. You might be able to push the automobile over the tracks with assistance from other drivers if there isn't a train on its way. If warning signals are on or you can see a train approaching, do not try this. As soon as you can, get out of the car with all of your passengers and move away from the railroad tracks.